the distinct pleasure of being here with John Moeller, who has been the chef for three presidential administrations. Mm -hmm. And today, we're going to be talking about presidential eating, because it's kind of a unique situation when you live in the White House. Tell me a little bit about the setup of mm -hmm. cooking in the White House. Well, uh, the main kitchen is on the ground floor which is right, right below the North Portico, is actually our walk-in boxes and storage area is all through there. And then you go into the main kitchen on the ground floor, and then when we get everything prepared for dinner or lunch, then we take it up to the second floor. And the second floor kitchen is just a small average home kitchen for the most part. And we'll do final cooking, plate presentation, give it to a butler, they'll go through a swinging door, and President First Lady and their guests are sitting on the other side. And so, I mean, I think a lot of people, when they think of the food at the White House, they think of state dinners. Uh -huh. But obviously, you're cooking every meal of the day. So explain mm -hmm. a little bit about kind of how that works and how the president gets, the, gets their food, how the mm -hmm. First Lady gets their food, and sort of what the day is like. Yeah, so let's say nothing's going on at the house. It's just average there. day. Average <laughs> day there, you know. So somebody might be in there about 5.30 or so in the morning, depending who's in. Uh, Mrs. Laura Bush loved uh, the, uh, the, the steel-cut oats. And that used to take a half an hour to cook. So they were like eating like 6, 6, 10 in the morning. So we'd be in there at 5.30, start boiling those oats and get it going there, you know. But we'd be there for breakfast and lunch for one shift. And then somebody may come in like 12 or 1 and work on dinner shift there. And having worked in multiple administrations, do you find that, you know, whenever someone new comes in, it's, they have their own quirks, they have their own things that they like, do they mm -hmm. do things differently? Yes and no both. You know, mm -hmm. You'll see some similarities and then you see some differences. You know, The first three months is the biggest challenge. You know, I watch every single plate as it comes back from the dining room table to see if something got pushed to the side or if they ate everything and I start making mental notes and start thinking about my repertoire of uh, food items to work with. Mm -hmm. And let's mm -hmm. talk about casual food because mm -hmm. you're a big fan of sandwiches mm -hmm. and I think it you know, it's so Americana to think of sandwiches, mm -hmm. but what kind of sandwiches do presidents like and what context are they eating sandwiches? Mm -hmm. uh, well, for when George W. Bush was in office, uh, a lot of times he would go from the Oval Office over to the executive residence, the mansion, and he'd go up and do a little workout around maybe 12 or 1 o'clock in the afternoon, expel a little energy, and afterwards he'd ask for one or two things either a BLT made with our uh, applewood smoked bacon that was absolutely delicious, or a peanut butter, honey, and banana sandwich. Really? And that was the two that he liked during the week. On the weekends, we on a Saturday afternoon, we would create some type of a sandwich for, for lunch. Do you coffee. start to get a sense, you know, when you're working with a president that closely, uh -huh. can you tell when it's a stressful day based on what they order? Like, they order something and you go, oh no, the news this afternoon is going to be terrible? Uh, yes, no, both. I mean, we, we submit uh, the menu items for the week. Every Thursday, mm -hmm. I write a menu for the coming week for lunch and dinner. And that's up in their area, and they can see what the menus are. And so sometimes you may get a call back. I don't want to differentiate too much from what's already there because I may be planning on having it. Unless I get a call and they say, hey, you know, maybe Senator so-and-so is coming over for dinner tonight. Let's, uh, let's get rid of this and put this in or something like that, you know. Mm. But uh, we, uh, we knew like when like George W. Bush used to go out and uh, he liked to go bike riding on the weekends a lot. And so he wanted something very substantial. Mm. Or uh, President Clinton liked to go out and play golf right about lunchtime. So I'd make up a box lunch with a nice chicken sandwich or something like that. And, um, and he'd take that off onto the, onto the golf course with him. And mm. do they ever sneak down into the kitchen? Does the kitchen become a respite for any presidents you've mm -hmm. worked for? Well, he never came down to the main kitchen. But that mm. second floor kitchen, which is in there, they live on the second floor. Right. That's their main residence area. And we would take leftovers and put them in the refrigerator. They might say, hey, that soup is really good tonight. Let's put it in the cup and put it in the refrigerator. And and once in a while in the morning, you come in, you'll see some dirty dishes in there. They might pop something in the microwave real quick. Right, you and, know uh, what happened. They, they had a little, little something. But for the most part, after you finish dinner, we always start with like a super salad, an entree, and then some type of a dessert or fresh sliced fruit. Mm. And after having that, they're in pretty good shape for the rest of the night. And does it change when the kids are home? Mm -hmm. Yes, no, both. Sometimes uh, the kids are home by themselves and may change a little bit. I, I might get out my pizza dough recipe and make up some fresh pizza mm -hmm. and uh, things of that nature, make a, maybe a few more quesadillas than I normally do, you know. Yeah, mm -hmm. when, you know, thinking of sandwiches, did you ever have times, you know, where you'd have a state dinner or something very fancy and then someone would come in the back and be like, oh, I just want a sandwich or I just want something casual and then you had to change things around? Uh, nothing for the official function, mm -hmm. but uh, in the middle of doing a state dinner, especially like when the Clintons were there, you know, Chelsea's upstairs by herself. And, right. uh, and we're getting ready to go and get the call, uh, Chelsea's ready for dinner. So one of us is designated as family. 
and who's ever on family is responsible for taking care of the family. So you'd have to peel off and uh, whoop up something on the side there and uh, send it up to her. Right, mm -hmm. and make sure mm -hmm. that Chelsea's not like, why don't I get this amazing dinner? Exactly. <laughs> or maybe some mac and cheese, you know? Right. And so what are some of your favorite sandwiches that you've made? Because, you know, as presidents are big fans of sandwiches, if mm -hmm. we want to eat like a president, what should we be eating? You could have any of these sandwiches right here. Or, or, uh, these are interpretations of what I've done at the White House, you know. Mm -hmm. One of my favorites, and the First Lady's always enjoyed it, was roasted vegetables. And I worked in France for a couple of years. I came very custom to using herbs de Provence, mm -hmm. which is a blend of about five different herbs there. So I take extra virgin olive oil, uh, fresh minced garlic, the herbs de Provence, mix that together with some fresh milled pepper and salt, make a marinade out of that, put it over my cut up vegetables, toss them, lay them out in a sheet pan, put them in a very hot oven, about 375, 400, until they're tender, get them out, let them cool down a little bit, and then I'll use hummus and use that as a spread on the sandwich. Mm. And then put your, then build the sandwich with the roasted vegetables, and then here also have some arugula in there too. Mm. So here you kind of take a little, you know, a little definition to the sandwich here, you a know? A little bit of both. And the next level there. Well, mm -hmm. thank you so much for giving us the inside look and make us feel a little presidential with your insider knowledge. My pleasure. Really appreciate it, thank mm. you. Well, thank you very much.